Hello there, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to make this as brief as I can because <laughs> I have just done a live stream. Uh, my voice is very scratchy still. And yeah, I want to put something out because I haven't done any videos on round three of our last GAC season. So let's just get into it. Let's show how I got on. Okay, so uh, we'll start off with Tamin. Uh, round one, we did get a win. 1282 to 183. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a bit of a weird round. Uh, I did take in a JM Malvis, JMK, and I lost. I was trying something different without JKL because I, I, I remember it was an old counter that came out when JMK first came out. But uh, yeah, it did terrible even with the data crawl and applied. So, oops. At least we managed to get down a JML with GG. Um, then I. I did do a clean up, I did get uh, Cat out with the Bounty Hunters and then cleaned up the JMK with Gas. Uh, Wampa did beat GG, uh, then it went a bit pig's eared. I mean, yeah, we used Treyer here against Dash, managed to get Vandor out, but the others, not so good. Now, this one surprised me here. Uh, let's zoom in a bit, I feel like I'm forcing you guys to squint a bit. Here we go. Uh, ooh, bit, bit out, there we go. Yeah, I use Cat, uh, Cat Padme with, against Gas. Now, usually that's a pretty safe team. I mean, you just have to stall long enough for Cat to eat to uh, Skywalker, and then the clones are easy to clean up. But yeah, the, to their credit, they ramped up really fast. So I was just about able to get a Yeet out on Gas before dying. So it did mean a cleanup was easier, but it was very, very expensive. Um, as you saw, we got Dash a bit left over, so we used the Fats and some Bounty Hunters to clean up. It wasn't the worst clean up. Uh, we used Night Sisters against Bad Batch. Again, we got through all right. Um, I was surprised here, JKL struggled against uh, CLS. I mean, it wasn't an A tier J JKL team, but still, that was a surprise that we lost that one. So, mm. um, yeah, we got Rolo. Yeah, Rolo against clones you'd have thought that'd be comfortable but nope um he walks against the clones we managed to get fives out so that was something um <laughs> crew team managed to get uh rex out so all right <laughs> we're making very small progress and then uh we did use raid data training on cls we got uh, that down and then a thin team got the remaining clones out i tried using imps on a at bar team everything but at bar and layer <laughs> left uh, Bad Batch finished that off, and then, yeah, it, this was a five-star executor, so I didn't use the, the two-shot method, I just went straight in, we managed to clean it up, uh, well, clean it one shot. Um, Empire against Negotiator, pretty simple in the end, and then finally we had Negotiator versus Atbar, so pretty clean in the end. I'm very happy how it ended as far as the score, but it wasn't my best round on offense. Um, if we just go here... You can see my opponent used Darth Vader against my Geos. Fair play. Nice easy 69 for him. Uh, Qui-Gon, I'm guessing the army. I, I don't think they show the armies on here, so I'm assuming it's Qui-Gon army. Um, against Radus. Fair enough. Um, Malgus, Sith Empire versus the Dash team. I'll take that. That's a big pull, so I'm happy with that. And then JKL didn't beat Starkiller. I'll be honest, I've never known that to be a counter, so I'm very happy with that. Um, someone try and womp her against it, I thought that's a little bit insulting. And then Imperial Troopers, so I'm happy with that. Starkiller pulled up some trees for me last time. Alright, so we move on to round two because, to be honest, you can tell from here, it didn't get good. Um, yeah, I, I did manage to take out Sky uh, Cat uh, from the JMK team, so we were able to do a gas cleanup. But it went downhill pretty quick after this, so we used Ray on Thrawn, fair enough. Vader with some leftovers against Night Sisters again, not too bad. But it went pretty bad from here. Um, I used uh, uh, GG against JML. I really, really needed to get rid of... Uh, I needed to one-shot it, and yeah, we didn't. So that was a problem. And then we had Slacker to deal with as well. So at this count, just to be clear, we've already got three GLs to beat. Um, so yeah, GG. Mm, I'm disappointed in that one even now. More so with this though, because each round the same things happened. It's got down to a 1v1 with JKL and Slacker and I've lost each time. So I'm not happy with that. I'm misplaying that counter, I think. But 
we'll see. I'll have to, I'll have to review how I play it. I, I would normally edit in the clips here, but it's like I just won't get this uploaded. I won't get it done. So thank you for watching this um, because I know it's just going to be me talking. Uh, we got JML Mirror just to clean up. It was very much overkill, but yeah, I just again, I just want to get the JML down. Um, Night Sister versus GG, solid counter, no complaints. Womper against Phasma, again, no big issue there. No tenacity down, so there's no problem. Uh, I tried to do a few kooky cleanups on, well, I said a few kooky cleanups. I tried to clean up there, just nothing going for it. Uh, same with Imps, I thought maybe my Imps could surprise me. No. So, um, yeah. Agaza, you got the win. Oh, Exler, even. Defense wise, let's see how I got on. <coughs> um, eh. All right, okay. I was just going to say, I didn't see the data cron. So, yeah, the first time they defeated the revive, they got the decreased, uh, the debuffs, they reduced the cooldown. So, yeah, fair enough. That's. I'll be honest, I didn't I didn't see the Datacron, so I was thinking, how is that beating a full-on Darth Raven team? But yeah, once you see the Datacron, it's like, okay, I get it. Um, Malgus versus this team, I will take that. That's a big pull again. I mean, someone's having to throw that at that. I'm happy. Um, Wampa versus that. I'm impressed my Mon Mothma team held against Wampa. I, I call that a big win. Uh, in fact, it pulled the CLS out as well. Again, I'm happy. Um... Okay, a little disappointed in that Ray Jedi Train was able to beat that, but there is some low gear there, so I can I can understand it. Um, see what versus Dash. Yeah, can't expect too much there. I really wish I got Dash on me, but the best thing I've got is that one there. Uh, Gas versus Starkiller. Yeah, once you've got one out, the whole thing falls apart, so... From their side, I'm sure they were happy with that. They trade five at first to make sure they get through. It's a fair trade. Um, Trey versus Geo is bog standard. Imps, I am amazed someone thought that would work. So, um, yeah, JKR clean up, fair enough. Maul, mm, yeah, fair enough again. Uh, I've got Inquisitors at the back just for giggles at the moment. It's like, what else am I going to do with them? So Geo is fair enough. You can knock that down pretty comfortably. And similarly... You're going to get a counter chance from Embo, so they're just going to destroy themselves. Uh, yeah, Geo, well, a Malevolent Mirror match, and then Thrawn Exec. He didn't even have to beat my Executor. So that, that's one of the recurring feelings I've got right now regarding GA, that people aren't even having to beat me hard. I mean, as you see, I, I actually lost my cool in this round. <laughs> I did GG versus C and I lost. To be fair, this is a very good uh, cron. I, I'm not going to hide that. Um, it's the level 9 on C that's good. The fact that the damage they receive is decreased by 15%. So it just meant that every time I tried something against C. I mean, as you see, a Wampa got Sidious out. But he just couldn't take down C. He couldn't ramp up. Um, yeah, you look here and you think... Uh, I tried a full-on GL counter. I mean, that, that's the best possible team I can use to take down a solo C. They just didn't have enough in them. Um, tried Bounty Hunters, no-go. Um, I tried Rage Out of Train just for healing immunity, no-go. So I thought, right, I can't beat uh, Sith Eternal. And if we just go back up, you can see the score. They'd full cleared me. So I had no hope. So, yeah, you look there. You got Trey against Bugs, fair enough. Darth Revan, Mirror, fair enough. A um, little bit cheeky throwing in some Inquisitors just to beat my Mon Moth. Oh, wait, they didn't even beat it. Wow. That had got to be a crash. That had to be a crash. So I feel a little bit for him there throwing away a Darth Vader Cron and there's a crash. Um, yeah, Dash. Yeah, okay, I can accept that. CLS against that Atbar team, okay. Uh, wow, they went heavy. They went Slacker versus my Mothma. Ooh. And they went uh, JML versus Dash, so... To the credit, they pulled some big teams. Uh, I don't get that one. Ray's probably the worst thing to take in against the Starkiller, or even the weak one, so I don't know why you wouldn't throw JML or Slacker at that. But hey ho, they got the win, so who am I to say anything? That is a waste, though. I mean, maybe you just wanted to use Starkiller, but I'm looking and thinking at the very least, take Hoder out and put in an un a dark side on the line. For oh. Not even that, you'd need a Sith and a Dark Side on Line Force user, so that's just a weird comp. I, I feel a bit insulted that that beat my Rogue One team, but it, it, it's it got the power, so yeah. 
that, that just feels like flexing. Um, imps, yeah, fair enough. Um, Padme, mm, yeah, no big surprises here. I mean, I'm glad to see Executor Eld. You know, that, that's positive, even though it did get cleaned up eventually, but um, yeah. I can't really complain. It's um, <clears throat> it's just the way things are at the moment. I've got one GL and I'm regularly coming up against four, five, six GL opponents. So yeah, uh, I've just finished my first 3v3 round of next season. And well, I will try and get an upload for that. But um, at worst, I will just put the stream highlights up. So um, stay tuned for those if not, if I don't actually do a voiceover. Uh, let's show you Crimson real quick. Okay, so for Crimson round one, uh, we got Supreme Leader Kylo taking on Amalgus. Yeah, nice and comfortable in the end. Look, looks a bit rough with them two dying, but we got through it. Um, JKR, GG, bog standard. Uh, we took CLS in against Dash. Again, not too difficult. Ewoks took down a new team. I'm glad that we didn't lose someone to Django like last time or one of the last times. Uh, JMK took down a Lord Vader. This Lord Vader was not <laughs> not a good Lord Vader as far as the Datacron, so I'm okay with uh, that uh, trade if you like. Uh, GG Newt versus Starkiller. Nice to see that one worked. Gas, we did lose fives, but we did take down CLS, so it was worth it. Uh, Baby Knight Sisters versus Qui Gon. It wasn't a great Qui Gon team because of Kane and Ezra being in there, so I'm happy with that. Uh, Veers, Imps versus Bosk. Again, that's nice and comfortable. Uh, a bit of a shame this one. Dark Trooper was in there and because of that I was able to do quite a bit of heavy lifting with Wamper at gear 12. Um, I don't think the others were that highly geared. I think we're talking maybe gear 12s and 11s and 10s. So it was a bit of a shame. In the end Wampa just couldn't heal up in time when Wamp uh, when um, Aiden had a hit but uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, Emperor Palpatine with some friends took down Hooks. A bit of a rough one considering Hooks prevents a turn game, but we got there. Uh, and then Padme cleaned up Aiden. It wasn't the cleanest one, that. Um, even though she was solo, there was just so many out-of-turn attacks that it kept healing her up. So um, we got through in the end. Just had to stack Courage, but uh, I wouldn't use that as a clean-up if you had to. If you had the option to. Um, by the way, I feel like I'm doing a really big advert for Swaggo GG here as far as this advertising on the side. Um, <clears throat> we've got Mal versus Thrawn, we've got Thrawn versus Radus, and we've got Finalizer versus Exe Exector. So, all in all, very happy with that. It was a very clean win. I don't know why people put Sith Fighter in there, let alone TIE Interceptor, but whatever. Um, my opponent's uh, attack, they did actually attack me quite a bit. 1494 banners. Used Ray on my. Uh, Treya Savage team, that's interesting. Uh, they tried Treya Scion against my Geos, that is a bad call. I mean, I'm not saying my Geos are fantastic, but I look and I think that is that is just being cheeky. With, with relics on my Geos, even if they're low relics, they could still punch a, a, a Sith and really hard spy could. So yeah, I'm not happy with that one. Um, Sidious and Wampa as well. I don't know if this opponent have got Wampa Omicron. Let's just have a quick nosy. Uh, no, so they haven't got Wampa Omicron, so that's something. But yeah, I still find that a little bit insulting. I mean, I can only assume they thought, right, Wampa will take the first turn and just Wampa him and he's there for the crit damage. And I'm thinking, no. But equally, I think that's overkill. I mean, throwing a GL at a clean up. <coughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, took a GL in against my Phasma team. All right, I'll call that a good trade. Uh, Padme cleaning up these. Again, that's not bad, I'll take that. Um, Relic 9 JMK, jeez. Um, yeah, that took my Darth Revan down. i call that a good trade off. Uh, C versus Maul, again, I'm happy with that. Uh, 501st versus Qui-Gon. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We got fives out, so it nicked a few banners. Uh, Ray Jedi's training versus the Django team. Yeah, fair enough again. Imps versus Iden, yep, yeah, I'm alright there. Yeah, so I'm not seeing anything here that makes me go, ooh, that was a, that was rough. Um, I mean, look at that, they took a full t Shaq team in against this lot. That was overkill. Um, my Executor held against Negotiator. Looks like they, I don't even know what they were trying there. That was a full-on Galactic Republic team. So... 
maybe they got cocky and thought five star they could beat it. That that's a bad attitude to have because even with five stars, you need to have certain tunes available like Ebon Orc or. I mean, personally, if I was going with Negotiator, I'd take Sunfak in or Darth Vader. So, um, yeah, that was cocky. Um, managed to get down so that Malevolence could clean it up, but then couldn't beat Negotiator with Finalizer. And they won the Rebel match, but then couldn't clean up Negotiator. So, yeah, some very weird stuff there. All right, round two. I'm wary of this going on too long, so... Yeah, I'm not going. I'm going to try and skim through a bit of this if I can. Wampa did a solo there. I'm very happy about that because there was no, there was tenacity down and candy, but the fact of the matter is, the tenacity down that candy does, it doesn't really benefit anyone. You know, the worst it could do is just give Django something to double tap. So I wouldn't really say that's something to worry about. Not to mention, even if he applies it, uh, Wampa can cleanse it with the AOE. So it's not too bad. It's not like there's a daze in there. Um, yeah, we've got JKR versus GG, the bog standard. A little disappointed in this one, even now. Um, D Watch just couldn't ramp up enough to take crew out. Um, if I got C3PO available like I used to do, then that would have been a foregone conclusion. But right now, not that good. Um, saying that though, I've got a little temptation to try something kooky on defense next round. <clears throat> it would allow me to save C3PO for another team, but. Uh, ew. Well, I'll, I'll think about that in the lead up to the next 3v3. Um, anyway, I took some leftover droids. We cleaned up the crew. I'm just skimming through the rest of this. Shaq clones there was a bit of a risk we didn't need to take. Uh, we got Lord Vader down again. It wasn't a great Lord Vader. It was the... Um, I was saying that I got the Empire Allies inflicting debuff, so it was actually not bad. But we got through it without much issue, so 57. Um, Slacker beat Malgus again, so all good to see there. GG beat Starkiller, uh, my imps beat their imps, or their Iden imps, uh, CLS beat Gas, uh, EP Vader with the Vader Cron, uh, or the Darth Vader Cron beat to Mon Mothma, and Fiverr First cleaned up Dar uh, Dash Randall, so I don't know why I didn't just go straight in with Fiverr First there, but yeah, bit of a weird one. Um, Empire, home one. Mm. Okay. Yeah, uh, I did lose that one. I remember losing that one. That that was painful. Did I lose the round on it? Yeah, I lost the round on that as well. So that, that one sucked. Yeah, my opponent here got a full clear. Wamper on uh, that team. Again, no tenacity down, so that makes sense. I think the only risk there is pure out offense beating you, and I they obviously survived. Um, Night Sisters beating Geo is fair play. That's one of my favorite counters. Uh, JKR there, fair enough. Uh, a little dis we'll saying that you got Ben Solo. All right, Ben Solo's in there, so I can understand Savage not really doing much there. Um, all right, that's interesting. I see Trey got a few holes like that. I mean, I, I don't know who takes Hooks in against Trey. That, that that's a weird one. Um, yeah, Hooks is a safe cleanup. Grand Inquisitor against that. That's overkill, I'd argue. I mean. Yeah, Grand Inquisitor is the anti-Jedi team. Uh, we've got Sifternal taking on Darth Revan, fair enough. Imps, Dutraya, Bad Batch, JML, Slacker. Yeah, quite a bit of overkill at the end there. I feel like that's what a lot of my opponents do. They hold on to stuff waiting, and then when they know that there's nothing at the back, they just unleash what they've got hoarded. So they drop silly battles when they don't need to. I mean, I speak for myself there. I do that all the time. But um, it's something that you sometimes have to check yourself for and not just hold back when you don't need to anyway we got uh, we had a finalized beating our exec which is quite impressive because i always say that that one is tough uh interesting that they also use plow and gauntlet all right um maldig uh negotiator and negotiator the app are so yeah disappointing i couldn't beat the fleet because i think i would have had a okay chance if that had have happened um yeah, just those losses there might help me, but uh, say la vie. Final round. Um, this one didn't go well, if I recall correctly. Um, JMK beat Lil Vader. That was a good start. CLS beat Mon Mothma. Again, a good battle. But then I tried timing out Imperial Troopers versus this. I just couldn't get uh, the kill on Anakin. So, again, disappointing there. Uh, Vader solo Geo is nice and easy. 
uh, we finished off the uh, Anakin and Barris duo with Old Republic. Uh, Malgus was beaten by Supreme Leader Kylo. I faced a few Malguses that week. I didn't realize it. Um, yeah, we did Bastille lead against GG with BB-8. Uh, OG Kylo versus Old Republic. Just seeing if there's anything that stands out. I tried Ewoks against Bad Batch, uh, not Bad Batch, but against Rogue One. Um, I thought it would work and it was horrendous. There was just so many exposes and Radis got his ultimate. So yeah, that was a rough one. Uh, did we clean that up? I don't think we did, did we? No. So yeah, that, that's where it came apart, arguably. Uh, I didn't even beat the negotiator there. So yeah, very rough. Well, saying that though, sorry, just looking at fleet. Um, obviously, I, I beat the exactor. Thrawn lost to negotiator, but then I did use a two shot, just just faltering Aina on the negotiator to clean up. So I was happy about that because it then allowed me the geos. But yeah, the geos just didn't stand a chance on their own against all that. So it was unfortunate. I think if silent, if I could have got silencer out faster, I would have been all right. But it was just protected too well. So um, I was pleased with my idea of trying to clean up there, but it didn't play out. And my opponent did all right. I mean, <clears throat> I say they did all right. They got Bad Batch for Qui-Gon, Slacker on my uh, Treyer. Uh, yeah, that's pretty comfortable. We've got Padme. Uh, some of these are disappointing to see, I can't lie. Um, see, can't, no complaints on that. JML on the mall team, just pure offense. Starkiller on that team, that seems pretty overkill. Uh, Wamper on that, fair play. Uh, dash on that, again, a bit overkill. Imps, yeah. This is the thing, my opponents have got to the point where a lot of them can just afford to save big teams if they need it. So they just play it as safe as they think they can on the front walls. Sometimes they'll probably lose trying to play safe. But as soon as they get through the front wall, they know they can just blast through me. So <clears throat> it's a bit frustrating because I'm having to be very efficient on offense. I'm having to one-shot most things to stand a chance. Um, the worst bit is I don't even think I can afford to change my strategy too much because if I try and start gaming for half boards, like I say, my opponents have got enough to still full clear me even if I put my best teams down. So all that offense really for me is my best strategy. Thankfully, Crimson has now got Sith Eternal Emperor, so I will be uploading a video for that as well this week, showing you how I unlocked him. Uh, nothing revolutionary in that, but hopefully you enjoy the process. And um, yeah, 3v3, uh, Sith Eternal Emperor has made his debut this round. Uh, again, I'll try and upload the stream highlights if I don't do an actual video for it. But uh, it was an interesting battle they had. So um, yeah, that, that's all I've got to say really. I've been talking for 23 minutes and that's more than I wanted to. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will try and do a better, <laughs> a better GA video next time, whatever it may be. Um, but I need to get my voice back. So I'll see you then, folks. Bye for now, everyone.